Ang mga manufacturers ay laging nagsusumikap na gumawa ng mga produkto na kayang iselbi ang iba't ibang pangangailangan ng mga motorista. Now, hindi yan madaling gawin na parang from dirt bike to underbone to sport bike to adventure bike to scooter. ba diba? Sobrang dami, sobrang lawak. What's easier would be to focus on a genre and from there, i-cater at i-fulfill ang mga needs ng merkadong yon. Kunwari, ang automatic scooter segment. Masasabi natin na ang Kimco ang may pinakamarami at malawak na models na pwedeng pagpilian sa segment na ito. Mula sa maliit na automatic scooter tulad ng Kimco like to their flagship na isa sa mga paborito kong maxi scoot. And I would dare say, the golden standard for maxi scoots, yung AK550. From the Kimco like to the AK550, we have a total of about 7 models and around 11 variants. Diba? Todo! There's something for everyone. Ang focus natin ngayon ay yung Kimco X-Town City 300i with Nudo priced at 229,000 pesos. Between ito at yung AK550, meron tayong dalawang models in between. Namely yung exciting S400 priced at 359,000 pesos. Nasubukan natin yun sa Taiwan noon. At yung kailan lang, yung downtown TCS 350i priced at 259,000 pesos. Now before this model, meron din tayong X-Town 300i priced at 199,000 pesos at yung Kimco like. You can see na after the downtown 350i, malaki na yung talon na may pagitan na 100,000 pesos pagsasabak na tayo sa 400 exciting category. I would say the X-Town City 300i ay nasa gitna nilang lahat bago tayo tumalon ng 100,000 pesos. I'm gonna feel the sound I'm gonna hear the way the light hits the ground I'm gonna know what it feels like to drown My lungs fill up and make Specs, 276cc ang X-Town City 300. Meron siyang 23 HP at 7,500 RPM, 22.44 Nm of torque, at single overhead cam siya. Iba pa rin ang hatak ng bigger siblings nito. Di ko naman masasabing bitin, pero pag sumaba ka na sa exciting pa lang ha, si Bakto. What more the AK-550, right? Pati yung downtown may hila na rin na okay. Oo, it's an unfair comparison because those have bigger engines. Pero sa peso to peso consideration, Consideration, kung hanap mo ay may konting hila, doon na ako sa downtown. Of course, may merits din ang motor na to. With slightly lesser power, you're gonna get better gas consumption. And therefore, more savings. Gulong nito ay size 13, wheels ay aluminum, telescopic forks tayo sa harap at underswing naman sa likod. Sa braking naman, ABS tayo harap at likod. And I'm very thankful na talaga naman sa panahon ngayon, panormal ng panormal ang ABS sa mga mot-mot natin. Natutuwa ako na napakabilis ng response sa mga manufacturers factors dito as they put safety in the priority list. I think mga two years ago lang I've been hoping for this to be the norm and now it's happening. Good job Kimco! Seat height ay Pinoy friendly at 780mm at ang fuel tank naman ay kayang kumarga ng 10.5 liters. Is 
Isa sa mga innovations ng Kimco is Nudo technology which we have featured before. So basically, this connects your phone to the scooter for a better riding experience. So, isa sa mga latest natin from Kimco, this is the X-Town CT300. So, straight off the bat, sasabihan ko na kayo, nakakatuwa dahil dual channel ABS. That's a good thing. Halos lahat na pumapasok kayo sa makina, lahat na ka-ABS na, and that's, that's good news. So, let's look at the design. The front panel, I would say, is one of the favorite headlights that I've seen from Kimco thus far. In fact, I prefer this over the downtown headlight. Ito, napakaganda na headlight niya. The windshield niya, though, I would prefer if it was higher kasi parang this angle is kind of hitting your face straight up. So, it's not doing much in terms of deflecting the wind from your head. So, if this was bigger, if there was an aftermarket windshield, that would be nice. Or better yet, kung pwede siya adjustable. Let's fire this thing up. What? Sorry about that. Okay, so to turn this on, wag mong sasagad. Kasi yan, papuntang pang bukas ng iyong gasolinahan. See? So... Hanggang 12 o'clock lang siya. Like so. Everything's gonna start to light up. This is what it sounds like. Wow! Kita nyo naman o. Ganda o. And it looks like this is LED all the way, mga kaibigan. One of the plus factors ng Kimco X-Town CT300. Definitely, yung headlight niya. I-bright nga natin. So, bright, everything lights up. So this is low beam, that is high beam. Pusina check. <laughs> so looking at uh, the switches right now, they're all right. It's not super, super, super high quality like the AK550, but it's okay. Not to credit it too much. Grips are makapit din naman siya. Yeah, very, very makapit. Now you got some industrial looking levers over here. Robust din siya. Hindi siya yung mga maninipis na parang mababali. Aha! Ang lagi kong tinitirang side view mirror, eto ang okay. <laughs> so, this one, di ko na ito papalitan. Maganda design niya. Matibay, it's beefy, it's sturdy, and it feels very, very robust. Ito. Siyempre, na-curious ako. Pag binuksan ninyo, ang laman po niyan ay yung screw. Sus naman, Zach. Naksaya mo yung 2 seconds namin para nang pakita yan. Siyempre, pulido tayo eh. So, looking at our little cluster over here. So, wala siyang buttons dito, malinis. Ang controls niyan ay nandito. So, with this switch, if this is pressed to the front, hitting this one to the top, it will be adjusting the left instrument cluster. Meron kang odometer, meron kang trip A, trip B. And I guess this would be your, um, when you need to change belts or something. Kasi ito may auto sign eh. Now, if you press down, yung gitna naman ang gagalaw. So, you got your temperature, your voltmeter. So, pag prenest ko naman ito dito, ito naman ang kagalaw. If you want to learn more about Nudo, do check out my Kimco Like feature. I was talking about Nudo technology there extensively. We got a clock and a picture of the bike on the console. So, meron pong pumuntang beach, meron pumuntang Jariot's Peak. So, you got a little radar here. And we have some kids. So, despite it looking very, very simple, Eh, pagka-high-tech pa rin siya. So, dito naman meron tayong space. Okay, meron tayong pulang basahan. Doing our Chinelas check, this, not, this doesn't really go that deep. It won't fit a Galaxy Note 20, I can tell you that right now. It will not fit in any position whatsoever. That's your space over there to the left. O nga pala, don't worry, gumagalaw-galaw to. Pero pag sinarado mo naman na siya, solid naman siya, walang kalampat. This one, this is just a design. It would have been nice if you could open this also because meron kang nilagay na groove dito. It gives me the idea that I can put something there. Parang ganyan. But you can't take it out. So, ang okay din po dito sa Kimco X-Town CT300 is meron tayong gulay board which differentiates this from the downtown, the AK550 na meron buo dito. So, push this. This is nice. So, lagay mo na yung plastic bag mo dyan. Galing kang palengke. There is your gulay board. That looks alright also. Ang grab bar natin, polido din, nice and solid. So, tires po natin. We got some maxi tires over here. So, yung gulong ay 120, 70, 13. Sa likod naman, mas makapal ng kuwante, we have 150, 70, 13. Taking a look at the seat now, to the left, push, and this thing opens. Very nice. Meron po siyang damper dito. Again, what I would wish is mas mapabukas pa nila to para hindi tumatama ang siko natin when you're getting stuff. Okay, what can fit there? Let's see. Full face helmet, showy. Tado po natin. Ha! Walang problema ang full face helmet dito. That can't fit another helmet, can it? No, wala na yan. This compartment, to organize yourself, meron po silang nilagay na partition, like so. And that's that. So, kung gusto mong organize at di maghalo-halo at maggalaw-galaw yung gamit ninyo, 
you can put this partition. Now, kung kailangan yung chumap chap na naman ng legs, these are my legs. Ito hanggang dito lang. Yung downtown talagang hanggang dito kasi yung legs eh. So dito hanggang, hanggang dito lang talaga. Trying to look for the tools. I don't know where they put it. This should be the fuse. Pwede ka rin mag-charge ng gadgets nyo dito. Meron po tayong 12 volts uh, lighter socket for your gadgets. And what I also like about this box, meron po tayong courtesy light. Okay din yan sa gabi. Diba? Pinara sa checkpoint. Oh, yan ang laman yan. Sir, hindi niya na kailangan ng flashlight. Pero po tayong courtesy light. Ayos. When the partition is there, about two chinelas can fit. Okay, so Kimco, typical fashion. Laging crowning glory nila ay yung kanilang upuan. Maganda talaga ginagamit nilang materials dito. Look at how the light just hits this matte black. Ganda, di ba? Good quality. You got some carbon fiber trim. Carbon fiber trim. So this actually has more play than the downtown. This one is very, very soft. This one naman, medyo matigasto for the pillion. Except for if you go to the side more, you'll have more foam here sa gilid. Pero sa gitna, medyo bangko na dito. This is nice and soft. Now, my thing with the X-Town CT300 is yung toilet seat position ko, yung knees ko, mas mataas. It's higher. Ideally, gusto ko mga ganyan. But sa akin, medyo mataas na siya. And because of my height, when I'm turning, this is already hitting my leg here. Same here also. Tumatama na siya. Mas tumatama sa kanan, actually. So, if you're a tall person, 6 feet, sukatin nyo muna. Let's see if you're comfortable. Because, syempre, your safety is important. If you're not comfortable, it will cause an accident for you. Then, look for something bigger. Maybe yung downtown is better for you. Kasi yun, wala kang problema dun. Yeah, overall, uh, apart from this is going to be picking a certain size na Pinoy. And uh, the windshield that I wish would be higher. It's a very able scoot. Nice. Amongst all the Kimcos I have tried so far, it is with the X-Town that I would feel mas crunched up. Di naman siya uncomfortable sa akin dahil sa pagkatao ko, madali naman ako mag-adjust sa hugis at position ng motor. As you can see, because of the seat in relation to the floorboard, slightly mas matas na ang tuwod ko sa waist ko. Mahaba akong tao, I am 6 feet tall. Mahaba ang aking legs at kaakit-akit na mabuhok. At nang dahil dyan, halos lahat ng sakay ko mukhang maliit talaga tignan. So if you are my size, make sure you try out this scoot first at kung conforme siya sa hugis mo. Now because of my riding position, may datingan siya na mababa sa center of gravity. Which makes the handling a bit awkward because of the position for my size but at the same time quite stable. Again, sa laki ko, sanayan lang yan. Compared to the more expensive models in Kimco in terms of handling and stability, yung city kaya na rin makipagsabayan. But in terms of rigidity, it will score lower but not fail. It's a combination of how the panels were put together, the wheelbase, and riding position. Mas maliit talaga siya. The advantage of this though is yung liksi factor niya sa handling. It's lighter and true to its name, it's very useful in the city. Ayos din ang alis niya. Ito ang acceleration test sa aking payat, masikip, malakas, at mamasel na katawan na may timbang na 168 pounds na wala pang kain. Okay, acceleration test in 3, 2, 1, go! Sa feature na ito, may halo tayong city riding, open roads, and angkas. Hindi ako nagtipid sa throttle. Wal wal all the way. And I got 30.476 kpl. We're gonna try the brakes now. We are at 50 kilometers per hour. Subukan natin in good and now. What I noticed sa uh, rear braking niya, sagad na ako. You're gonna have to let the ABS do its thing. No more pumping pumping as in, pigay mo lang. Meron kang narinig na konting lock here, lock there, okay lang yon. Basta importante ay pumitaw siya. Masama pag tumulit-tuloy yung quick, 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 quick. Diba? Yan ang bad trip. Uy, may humps! So, okay lang yon. May konting skill. Actually, better pa rin kung walang quick, 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 quick. Pero, okay na rin na... Basta bumibitaw, yun na yon. Uy, may humps! Okay, so harap naman tayo. We are now at 48 kilometers per hour and uh, uy, bikanto. So at that speed, 40 plus, slamming on the front brakes, 
walang pumapalo pa na ABS pero pumipigil siya ng tama so walang skid sa harap so okay yung ganon hey doggy teka kilala ko yung asong yun ah balikan nga natin aso ng kapatid ko hey beamer hey come come hello beamer ah, takot pag nandun naman sa bahay niya tapang tapang tahol ng tahol okay so on with the brake test uy pedestrian So that's the front, front ABS pumalo din Front ABS Uy, dead end pala to Okay, so good news dito Pag medyo conscious ka, titigil siya ng matino Ngayon, kung medyo biglaan may tumawid na parang survival instinct na talaga prineno mo Yung ABS kaagat din, bobomba na siya Parang ganyan So, wala, nothing to complain about I mean, Kim ko ever since Lahat ng ABS na subukan ko sa kanila is working fine Tad, 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 tad Subukan natin, dalawa naman Okay, we're going now at 50 kilometers per hour And... Uy, may nakaparada ng kotse Okay, siya pag dalawa And... Uy, may humps! Okay. Pretty good stopping power. Uy, may hamas na din. May konting skid yung likod. So, kung yung style mo is parang ganun, hindi siya mag-skid. Kung sabay, piga, may konting skid yung likod. Okay? Take note. Ay, may dingding. The City 300i na may step-through gulay board ay nakalugar gitna ng mga malalaking maxi scoot at maliliit na scooter. Alanganin siya na malaki at alanganin din siyang maliit. Pero meron siyang mga favorable traits from both. That said, walang perpektong motor. At kung meron sana silang pwedeng may incorporate sa X-Down City 300i, I'd say a seat option for taller riders like me would be great. On the overall, this would broaden the City 300i to an even wider market worldwide, considering its place in between a small scoot and a bigger maxi scoot. The floorboard can also be upped in quality, I feel, but considering its price, na may nudo din at ABS, well, pasok na pasok na rin. Kimco is clearly strengthening their position as a leader in the maxi scoot market. And as is evident with millions of satisfied customers from all over the world, bigin agawa silang tama. The quality to price ratio ng Kimco is very high. At marami silang na-attract na mga practical na tao na gustong value for money talaga. Ito po ang Kimco City 300i with Nudo Technology. Ito po si Sir Sack na nagsasabing magpabakuna because that is a shot for a better future. Ciao. Pwede bang mauli? Pwede bang malunod sa'yo?